Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the Ohio class submarine. So to find it, you can go to ships, submarine, scroll on down to the United States and it's very first one. It's a nuclear submarine uh, and it has nuclear capability. I don't have the nuclear game pass, sadly, so I can just use the, astound uh, so I can only use the a monstrously large payload of 154 uh, tomahawks. They're a thousand pound anti-ground and cruise missile capacity things. These things are insane. So you can customize by going to the customize menu and then you can mess around. Cost color one typically is like the top and stuff. So like if you see that uh, and then I can go on down and then you will be able to see that it doesn't change the bottom. It's not really, it's, it's kind of hard to see. So color one and then yeah, and then there's also materials and stuff like that. So that's what that is. So you to deploy, you go to deployment, then you can set your spawn somewhere. You can pick different things from down here. Use arrow keys to move around. It's really nice. So I'm going to spawn here next to my friend. He steer you, hit W, S, and then those increase your throttle. You can see that here. And then A, D, you don't need to select people th for the missiles. So for the missiles, you go to well for cruise missiles you go to input coordinates to rise and sink you hit f and r to fire the missiles for some reason you have to be within the depths of like i get why but not specifically uh the depths of 35 meters you just need to be 35 meters and up uh to be able to fire your missiles so i'm gonna sink to a depth of about 20 and you can see that using this and now you can fire thing so the dispersion it Tomahawks have a dispersion of 15 meters, meaning they won't exactly hit your target. This ship has Sea Whiz, so they'd be able to take out some of them, but uh, he has turned them off for me so that we have a cleaner, faster video. So to rem uh, enable combat mode, it is zero to do that. So once you've enabled combat mode to fire, uh, same with the spawn menu too, though you use arrow keys to move around your camera, to click to fire the Tomahawk, and that like a target it and then you hit Y to fire the tomahawk once it's off it's a thousand pounds so it's like a thousand pound bomb but like a missile I, yeah I know see so it doesn't do too much health I mean the Kirov is also like much like pretty big but to see where your projectiles are going like follow the things to get out of it, input coordinates menu hit input coordinates menu again under the tab menu and then once you have that, you just hit Y and it will keep the coordinates. So it will fire and then hit 4 to track it. You can do a lot of stuff like this. I don't have any missile, other missiles in the air, so I can't do that. So I'll just self-destroy it. The Ohio also has torpedoes. So you can either click on them, do it like this, which you have to be relatively close because the radar isn't great. But you can see this sonar pings which is what that yellow dot is from quite a distance away so that now that i think i think i'm a bit too close but these torpedoes are amazing you can also follow these but to get rid of torpedoes for yourself and your enemies can do it too if they're tracking um hit m for noisemaker as a torpedo you can i mean as a submarine you can also hit q to launch a flare uh, so as you see you can do it from this depth and it's mostly just to make yourself more visible to other people So I'm gonna finish off This Kirov here and then show you that the torpedoes automatically track uh, Other submarines now you remember and it oh Yeah, you can toggle night vision by going to tab and then toggling night vision It looks like this because it's daytime. It's definitely gonna be better in night who knew so there we go target them and Away it goes See you in the afterlife. Or not, because apparently 15 millimeter dispersion is enough to miss the cure off. I'm also pretty close, so like... Yeah, there we go. And like I said, the, the, this large payload of Tomahawks. Uh, another thing is that you actually are pretty safe from missiles, unless it's VL Azrox, which are pretty much just tracking torpedoes that are in missile form, which is really terrifying. And so, see, I'm not really taking any damage. I'm not taking any damage at all, at all. So, I'm going to have my friend spawn in as a uh, submarine, probably the Typhoon, and see you when that happens. My friend here has spawned in as a Typhoon. It's a very big submarine uh, from the Russians. And so, I, actually, I already have him targeted, but you can see his sonar there. 
And if I turn a little bit, never mind. But uh, if I fire my torpedoes using B, you will see that they will try and target him. See it changing its direction. And torpedoes do a lot of damage to submarines, as you see here. Uh, I can't really do a good demonstration of seeing it without things, but here's what a submarine looks like when it's sunk. It just rises up to the surface and is dead like a fish. So that is the tutorial. Hope you like it. I did this. There's going to be an F-22 video coming out real soon. Uh, thank you for all the views and subscribers. Thank you.